Hey guys, welcome back to Container Crops, the Scaredy Cat Gardener. It is an amazing, beautiful day here in Zone 7B. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to spot and take care of those nasty hornworms. It's tomato season, guys. We've all got tomatoes in our garden, or a lot of us do. And one thing that we all dread is those yucky, huge hornworms. So I'm going to show you exactly how to get rid of them if you see one and what to do to hopefully get rid of them so they won't come back again. Show off your fantasy reality, whoa, that's yours but I'll keep doing mine. Okay guys, we are back and before we get started, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Oh my goodness, don't forget to subscribe. Just take a second, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything. Follow me over on Facebook, Container Crops, and IG, The Scaredy Cat Gardener. Okay, well, before we get started in what we need to do, let's look at a few clips to show you exactly what you're looking for and why it's so hard to spot them. Okay, look at that, guys. The color is identical to the color of the stems of tomato plants. This is why they are so hard to spot. And they are clinging on. They've got like, looks like a thousand legs to me. And they are clinging on tight. And if you ask me, they're just gruesome. I'm glad you know what to look for. Okay, we've seen those nasty hornworms. A lot of us have seen them. We pick them off of the vine. We toss them out. We hope, we pray, we don't see any more. Well, the one thing I learned a couple of years ago, I came outside. Uh, matter of fact, it was exactly about three years ago when I first started my container garden. I saw one and hey, I am the scaredy cat garden. It took me forever to get that one hornworm off of my tomatoes. I had just started gardening. That was my first year of having tomatoes. I didn't know what the thing was. I didn't know what to do with it. Like I said, literally, it took me about an hour to get that thing off because I was so afraid. I got it off. I was like, okay, done. I'm through. Lo and behold, the next morning I came out and there were 13 more hornworms. Yes, I counted them. And it took me forever to get them off of the tomatoes because they're thick, they're heavy, and they are strong. And I was scared. <laughs> so I went on a hunt to figure out what to do about them. Since then, I have not had a problem with hornworms. So I thought I'd share what I do with you. Okay, for accuracy in getting these hornworms, you will need a few things. The first thing you want to get is a black light. This is a black light flashlight. Um, they have many makers. They're not expensive. I've got this for less than $10 on Amazon a couple of years ago, but I did look out there. I will leave a link in the description to the one that I have. This is a nice little black light. Um, you can't see anything right now, but at night it's the ones that shine blue. So that's what you need. What you want to do also, you need to have a little dish soap, a cup and some water, and you will neither need some neem oil or BT. BT being Bacillus thuringiensis. So those two things. I specifically use neem oil. I have used BT, but I prefer neem oil. So what you need to do is either early in the morning before daylight or after it gets dark. And it doesn't have to be pitch dark. These black lights are pretty strong and they work at the sight of any darkness so you don't have to wait until midnight or something to go out into your garden but once it's dark outside you want to go and shine your light all over your entire tomato plants from top to bottom from bottom to top south to north east to west left to right every inch of it if the hornworms are on your plants they will glow 
you will see it. You will see it. No problems. You also want to check under the leaves because they like to hide there. They camouflage wonderfully. I mean, they are the exact color into the naked eye. You can easily miss it. So shine your black light all over every, everywhere on your tomato plant. Once you spot them, or hopefully spot one, <laughs> you want to take some tongs. If you can bear it with your hands, put on some gloves and pick them off. Use the tongs to pick them off. Use your hands to pick them off. Get a stick, whatever you can do to get it off. Once you get it off, you want to dump it into the cup of soapy water. Now, you only need a few drops of the soap and some water, but this is so that you can discard of them properly. After you have um, looked all over your plant, gotten them off, all the ones you could find, hopefully just one or two, and you've gotten them off, then as the daylight becomes, if it's in the evening, if it's a calm evening, you can go ahead and then saturate. I mean, saturate until it is dripping with BT or neem oil. Or if it's too late to do it in the evening, wait until the next morning and come out early and saturate your plant. Then BT and neem oil will not hurt your tomatoes and your plants. But you want, I mean, you want it dripping. You want it dripping as if you took a hose and wet it down. OK, that's what you need to do to ensure they don't come back. Now, I have not had a problem with hornworms since then. Let us pray. This keeps moving forward <laughs> because every few evenings or so, maybe every two or three evenings or so, I come out and I saturate my garden with neem oil. I saturate my garden with neem oil every couple of days or so. You know, if I miss a day or so here, that's fine. But I am constantly saturating my garden. Okay, guys, so that's going to do it for today. I hope you all don't have any hornworms, but if you do, I hope you try this method. It has worked for me. It works well. Get you a black light. It is good for insects in general on your plants. Come out in the late evening or early mornings and inspect your plants for all kind of things. These bugs glow in the dark. <laughs> so, Thank you all once again for coming and hanging out with me this morning in my garden. I really do appreciate each and every one of you all. Again, take a second and subscribe to the channel and share the video out because I am sure if you have family, friends, or know someone else that's gardening, they may can use this information too, and I'd like to spread the word. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and I will see you next time. And until then, remember, anywhere you can sit a pot, you can grow a plant. And I'll see you on the trail. You'll be living your good life. Catch a glimpse from the outside all the time.